So I thought I'd just record this little momentary experience. I don't even know that I would publish this, but... I was vibing for some strange reason. I was feeling my mother's side of the family, the ancestry over there. It just felt the vibe, felt the connection to that ancestry. I just let be what was. And I heard a little bit of thump thump pounding, pounding from in back of me. This is leaning, you know, towards the house outside, new place I moved into. I noticed a little bit of anxiety on account of the thumping. And, you know, my mind paints pictures as to why. And, you know, shortcomings I may have made or things I should be doing, reasons to be less than happy or desirous to see my roommate or his girlfriend, right? So rationalizations for the angst. And, and it's like, wait a minute, no, 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 like, why am I, why would I feel angst over, like, the thumping of footsteps? And I've got these answers that my mind comes up with, and I, I suddenly kind of remembered being young and little and having my mother stomping you know, which led to chasing after me or just coming in from the other room. Dum, 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 dum. Like, you know, she heard me, like, rattling the candy dish by accident by taking a piece of candy or something that I might have been doing wrong. And so I think that angst of hearing thumping and just going to those fearful, anxiety-ridden places dated back to that. I want to give a shout out to Joseph Ally and his channel here on YouTube, largely on manifestation and on the teachings of Neville Goddard, because out of all the YouTube channels that share Neville Goddard's teachings, this guy, Joseph Ally, is the real deal, the real McCoy, and got some great validations, ideas from him and one of those things was to revise with simplicity to revise without constructing this big deal imaginal act like just do something quick something really quick off the top of your head be done with it and so I did so instead of tightening up and seeing my mother come into the room when I was so little and her pounding and slamming her feet and chasing after me around the house with a leather strap. It's your imagination. It's fantasy. It doesn't need to be logical. So I... I faced her and... I said something affirmative or positive. I don't remember. It was... Maybe it was something even along the lines of, please don't slam your feet, everything will be okay, or whatever, but I faced her and she faced me. It's irrelevant what the actual words were. And I gave her love and she received it and gave love back. And the result of that was like her possibly even her in the eternal now, transcending time and space from then, all things exist, creation is finished, maybe that reality, that dimensional reality that I imagine, which does exist in this infinite and eternal now, from there, my mom rejoiced and thanked me, really sincerely thanked me because that healed and undid not only stuff she didn't want to be doing, stuff she was caught in, stuff she was caught in from her own abusive childhood, you know? But it undid some of that. It actually transcended beyond her and undid even some of the abuse when she was a child and the joy 
the salvation, the peace, the happiness that came from her at the end of my imaginal act affirmed Christ in you. It affirmed what it is to be in Christ. Because that level of miracle, that level of supernatural miracle, that level of supernatural miracle, the biblical wowness of Christ is available to us. Like, that was sequential. I didn't decide, I am Christ, and try to put this into practice. It wasn't a... That was, like, resultant of what I had done, which was simple, very imaginal, and hardly logical or realistic, but it was. Like I said, it didn't need exactitude of language. It was the idea of it. I got that judgmental part of my mind out of the way. The part that would be like, that's dumb, or that's unrealistic, or that's like, you know, Partridge Family Brady Bunch nonsensical. Just let it happen. Your job is to simply revise. Do it quick, and I did, and was rewarded by it. I did more than revise that level of the past. I think I helped heal my mom. Anyway, if you like this, subscribe, like it, share it. But make your revisions simple. And check out Joseph Ally's channel. That guy's the bomb. Peace.